In this Flash ActionScript 3 lesson, we'll demonstrate how you can connect to an external XML file, whether it be on the web or on your local machine. This works locally on your Windows or Mac. Uh, and you connect to the XML file. And let's show you the XML file. Well, first, uh, let me mention that all the files are going to be free for download, the FLA, the XML, and everything you'll need a uh, little download package on the page where this tutorial is at developphp.com and uh, let's go ahead and show you the XML file okay so when you download the package you open up your XML file you're gonna see that there's four uh, item labels well there's four menu items in the menu list tag in the XML file and each menu item tag there's two different tags. One is item label, one is item phone. An item label is just the person's name. An item phone is their uh, their uh, particular phone number. And you can see that there's four people and four phone numbers. And what I show you how to do in Flash is uh, render the render it out. You'll see there's nothing in the library here. So what happens is XML is rendered out magically through programming in uh, ActionScript 3 uh, according to what's in that XML file if in this XML file if there were nine names or nine menu items that's how many boxes would get printed out in flash okay so the uh, the action script if you hit F9 you go into your actions panel uh, we're doing a for loop and the for loop is a dynamic loop set up for uh, uh, making your code more compact, uh, easier to manage, uh, and simplifying things. If you can uh, work with a loop when you're rendering things out, it just makes things helpful and helps simplify code. Uh, so you can see uh, in the code when you download your files and look at it, you'll see that I have comments above all the lines uh, where I thought that I should mention something to you and um, yeah, if you have any problems with this code or if you have any questions about it you can join the forum at developphp.com and post up questions and we'll get your answers or we'll try to um, but yeah you can see the loop happens right here the for each loop is about midway in the script and uh, or it begins about midway in the script there and everything in that for loop that for each loop is uh, is going to be rendered out to the stage however many XML items are in uh, menu items are in our XML list and so let's go ahead and publish it there it is so you can see what it does is publishes when it publishes out or when it's working on the web it'll uh, set boxes and inside each box and each box I made uh, into a movie clip and uh, inside of each movie clip box there it gets the name label and the phone number label and uh, that's pretty much a, a really general basic example and demonstration of how you can get at individual uh, XML nodes and render them out in a loop um, and it actually doesn't have to be a loop if your XML was written up differently you could access each individual one if you wanted um, but since we have four menu items and things are pretty similar throughout the menu items uh, then we can loop through it and display it and I think that's pretty much it let's see if I have to mention anything else here yeah there's there's a lot going on in this loop and rendering everything out so like I said if you have any problems uh, you can't understand the code or have trouble manipulating it you want to expand it uh, maybe we can get your help in our forums develop PHP and that's pretty much it you can get these files for free uh, at the download link right under where the 
the tutorial is and uh, we hope you find this one useful we'll see you next lesson